As Chief Meteorologist Chase Menendez has been telling us, freezing weather is on the way. Big Two's Felice Romero joins us now live in studio with some driving tips that can help keep you and your loved ones safe. Hi, Felice. Good evening, Katie and Eddie. We may be seeing some snow here in the Permian Basin, and Gene Powell from TxDOT wants to make sure we keep these tips in mind before we get behind the wheel. Driving in severe weather, Gene Powell from TxDOT says if you can, don't do it. But if you have to, take notes on these driving tips. The rule of thumb is generally give yourself twice as long to get someplace, at least. You need to slow down. You need to put more distance between you and the car in front of you. Accelerate slower. You need to decelerate or brake slower. Powell says especially in severe weather, it's important to check your vehicle to make sure everything is working. Windshield wipers work, your headlights work, that your tires are good, your brakes are good. I mean, all these things are go so far in, in keeping you from a catastrophic situation. And if you're driving in fog, before you go, turn on your low beam lights because driving without them can be dangerous. You can't drive like it's July and 95 degrees and dry when there's adverse weather conditions. You need to slow down. That also goes for cruise control. If you normally use it, don't in severe weather. You lose traction and then your engine will rev up and then you gain traction back and it can throw you off in a different direction that you're not expecting. So don't use cruise control. And if you happen to get in the worst case scenario and you enter into a skid, always steer toward where you want to go. Once the storm hits, crews will be out there treating the roads, but Powell says usually they only do major roads, so it's always important to be extra cautious. Reporting live in studio, Feliz Romero, Big 2 News.